it's a shame like how bad bad like New York sports is. Mm-hmm. And then one of my friends said it the other day too. He was like, "Yo, like it should almost be like a priority." Yeah, I yeah think, was you, it me? I yeah, like I think it might have been you. Yeah, he's like, he's like, uh, it sh- it should be a priority for like New York teams to be good because the market is so fucking lucrative over here. Yeah, mm-hmm. like it's literally the biggest having market. an LA team that's good, having a, a a New England team that's good, and having a New York team that's good and a Miami team that's good. Like mm-hmm. those are like major markets, and then there's always gonna be Texas teams that's good too. I think New York market. You think so? No, like the market isn't really powerful to develop. Give him a mic. Mike. You got a New York team, like a fan base, something you've been in two years. Yeah. And then you have like, like the team, like Patriots took time to develop over time. Like every team takes, their organization takes time to develop. Your fan base is not giving you time to develop. Gotcha. Yeah, the culture of the New York fan base doesn't give yeah. time for a team to get good. Yeah. You know, they got to come in good off the hop. Years, like, look at Golden State past two years. Like, New York fan is like trade, trade staff. Trade everybody. Trade staff. Clear out. Yeah. Bro, wow. when when Melo came over here, right? And this was like my, what, what year was that? Like 20 fucking 12 or some shit like that? 2011 when he got traded. But that was the first time where I seen like in basketball over here, besides like when we had like the Nets and shit, that like people were like, all right, a, a championship's about to come to this area. And I'm like, oh, they got Stoudemire. They got Shump. But all these people on the scene, Marcus can be like, oh, this team is crazy. And now it's just like Melo came here and then he turned to like everybody fucking hated Melo. It was like, oh, like he ruined the Knicks and all this other shit. I'm like, bro, yeah, I created a whole culture, right? This whole team. The team weren't even wasn't even together for a full year. And yeah, I expected them to win a championship. And now you creating like a, a toxic work environment for these niggas where they, like they're playing home games and feel like they're playing away because like. You had fucking Knicks fans that hated their own team. And it's like, you got to give that shit time to develop. I don't I don't know what it's like growing up in an area where it's like, like I knew the kids that we went to school with in Boston, like they used to like their teams being good like their whole life. Like the Celtics are always good. Fucking Patriots is always good. So it's like, we, it's seldom, bro. We've seen the Giants twice and I guess the Yankees are usually good and the Rangers and the Devils, I guess. But other than that, we ain't used to no dynasties. Yeah, you know New York has like a low bar when one player has a good game and they ride the wave for like five years. Lindsay Lins- and Dio. <laughs> <laughs> it was like five years, bro. It was like, he had one good game. Relax, all right? Yeah. Like, Went off once. And they were like, oh my God, this is crazy. This, bro, is crazy. this is the best thing we've seen in New York sports in forever. Yeah, that was like a phenomenon because like even my grandmother was watching this shit happen. Because she was just like, oh, like there's a basketball player that they said that he shouldn't be as good as he is. And He's doing really good, so I'm gonna watch the game. <laughs> yeah. Back to dynasties, though, like it's only like three dynasties are like like lifetime dynasties. Like I was like the the Lakers, Celtics, and the Yankees. Those ones are like like multi generation dynasties. Like, even, That's like, facts. Even like Boston, like that just happened with Brady. Like Brady's their dynasty. So there's people like or, eighty, yeah, who went sixty years and, and just uh, they sucked the whole life, and then Brady got there. So, yeah. It's yeah, a couple teams that have like gener- like multi generation dynasties that are like sustainable. Yeah, and I I think I like the fact that like when we were growing up, we started to see this cusp of certain ones forming. Like we got to watch the Warriors, the Seahawks. You know, they put together a run where they were like that yeah, team. Like, yeah. Watched the Wingman form. Yeah. Like, yeah. Cause you remember fucking uh, nah when Randy Moss was over there, that's what Eli beat them, right? Yeah. yeah. Nah, that that's just I, it's it's cool to see the culture and sports shift like that. Like before, it was all play like team based. Like that person belong. Like if I thought of the Bears, I thought of Erlacher. If I thought of this team, I thought of that person. But yeah. now it's like any person can be anywhere, and it's just like they br- they're bringing their vibes to that area rather than that team having a vibe from this being like their set list of players. Like I, I think I think that's just pretty cool. The player dictates the culture, I yeah. guess, right? Rather than actually, yeah, I get you. Motherfuckers not afraid to yeah, leave no better. more, bro. And it's like, do you, the, oh, we were having this conversation off mic earlier, but we were saying positive and negatives of social media. Could that be one of the effects right there? Positive effects of social media? Uh, that player nowadays are able to build their own like fan base without using the organization, like independently? Yeah, I think it's good because people can see how receptive people are in that area to them. And it's like, 
I don't know, you can see how how like valued you are. Like almost. Like Kyrie, when he was in Boston, it was clear that he didn't fuck with the Boston fans and the Boston yeah. fans didn't fuck with him. So that was almost like, even if they were on the cusp of like turning things around, that was like, all right, like, nah, that's a deal breaker. Like I'm out. Like I don't want to be like, I, I want to play for fans that want me to play for them. Yeah. Before it was just like this player go out, they play and then they're not hearing anything until fucking Stephen A is talking at 7 a.m. the next morning. Now you can go home or not even go home. You can literally step off the court, go in a locker room, sit down, fucking load your timeline and just watch all the mentions what everyone's saying about you and then you'll see this person fan and you know where they're from and shit like that so i guess it, it does kind of play like a some type of role in your psyche because you don't want to be anywhere where you're not necessarily like you know loved or you know appreciated so i, I definitely think that that shit plays a role but i feel like with it you can tap into a different audience outside of the small region you're in you mm-hmm. get me? like it, it used to be more necessary for mm-hmm. your for the fans within your region to like you because that's where you would like get your like like uh money outside of plan like this is where you get your commercial deals like you're gonna be in some local commercial it's gonna be in michigan and like the greater lakes area and it's going to be like broadcasted all these people and they like you. So therefore we're willing to pay you to mm-hmm. spot like uh, freaking Arby's. You're going to be in this Arby's commercial within this region. Yeah. Like nowadays it's like, oh, you could be there, but people also in like New York could like you. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the fact that kids over here still are saying like, oh, Steph or like Curry when they make a shot, you know, mm-hmm. or they wear like Curry sneakers. Yeah. Even it, though it, he plays in. It makes, it makes you, it gives, it gives the player more of a personality behind them. Cause I remember when KD got caught for that Twitter troll shit, he was like, "All right, fuck it." Like it was my account, mm. and then he completely just leaned in, leaned into the shit. Now he's like on Twitter, and like Stephen A. Would say something, he's like, "Fuck you, Stephen!" Like <laughs> from his own account. Yeah. So it's right. like, it's, it's, pe- you say that though, I think that plays into like the um, like the basketball or football player like conversation. Like basketball players have like they don't have a helmet on, so they can't really monetize. Is it picking them up? Yeah, I'm picking. They can them like up. really monetize off like that social media impact because like you see me every time I have a social media page. Yeah. I know what she looks like. Like outside of Odell, like there's no football player I really that have yeah. monetized and, and, and leverage. Yeah, um, it's hard to have an identity. I feel like when you're playing football because you're just like yeah, and the NFL especially. I feel like they're big on just like the league and the team rather than like the actual individual. You know, yeah. the, like league comes first, the shield that. So made the point of saying like, oh, even their logo, every other logo you look at, there's always a player on the logo. NBA, NHL, MLB. There's always like, you got a person swinging, you got the person shooting, person with a hockey stick. NFL is just NFL. Yeah. You know, it's the shield. It's the NFL shield. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, that's a fucking good observation. It's not original. I heard that somewhere. Yeah, mm-hmm. that. Right? That. Yeah. And it's uh, it, it just shows you how how far back they are in comparison to other leagues. Like, the 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 most I guess like development I've seen the NFL make is like when they were doing like like the play sixty campaigns and shit like when we were younger and I'm like all right like they're trying to like appease to a younger crowd and yeah. then they started doing like the crucial catch and like breast cancer where it was like all right now they're t- speaking of like more organizational things but like NBA they have like the NBA cares thing but they have so many other things that they do in like different communities where it's just like all right this person's doing this what do you mean far back in what sense what do you mean you said the NFL is so far back, but in what sense? Uh, just like a, a couple of things, like the way the actual league is ran, like the amount of coaches and owners that aren't black, the amount. Of, so when you make when you say when you say ran, though, like in what way? What? I'm not elaborate what you're saying. <laughs> I think what he's saying is that I'm gonna like pick off and just like definitely. Uh, Bro, we should get him a mic. This is an off. This is an off. Why don't we just set up a mic? Nah, it'll, gonna, it'll sound clear. This is an off-camera conversation, but I, I agree with it. So the NFL is still, I think, the only organization sports-wise that still ran like slave times. No yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. all your owners are these wealthy white guys. There's like, no they, player they, power. They, they own like all like they. And, like, your players are only pawns. Yeah. Right. Like NFL is yeah. like one of the only sports where like your money isn't guaranteed up front. Like. Every other sport now, your money's yeah. guaranteed. Deshaun just got a fully guaranteed contract. It's not, though. It's not? No. How much of it's fully guaranteed? So it's guaranteed, but there's like, there's clause in it. So mm. it's really not guaranteed. Like, if he doesn't play this year, he's not getting paid. 
Okay. He's only getting like 1.5 million for this year. Like it's, it's guaranteed, but it's guaranteed with cost. Okay. Right. Like it's like it, they they're just like mad. They're just they're worried play of how they were things just on a different level. And, this is, are we hot? The mics are hot too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So just get them mic. And, and and on top of that, it's like um people don't see the NFL like how they see other leagues because like the way it's set up. Like people in, in the NBA, they could be like, I right, boom, I'm leaving. I'm going to this team. NFL, if you're there, you're there. They keep it into themselves. Like I think the NFL is probably the only like league that doesn't have some type of farm system. Yeah. Like, think about it. Like every every other league has a farm system. Like NFL is like it's either in there or not. Like Facts. All these other like new leagues, like they're really not have no NFL affiliation, so it's gonna be hard to even try to get that shit is just I don't know that 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 was one thing about it too that I that I never actually liked is just like seeing how the NFL is ran versus other other leagues it's just the the way the interaction is between like players and coaches and players in the organization oh like if somebody in the like NBA gets in trouble right like Miles Bridges he just got in trouble the yeah. Hornets they haven't really said anything yet like they made a, a one little statement, but it hasn't. When the NFL, like someone on a team gets in trouble, is like a team is making a statement, like, "Oh, this is our property," and you know they messed up, and that this person did this, and this person. Like I remember when the shit where Henry Ruggs happened, like the Raiders is like they were going crazy, and it's like, yeah, that's like your employee technically, so you should have to speak for them, but at the same time, it's like. A individual messed up. It's not like the like the organization is apologizing as if like they did it. You are now with Danny. All right, welcome, welcome back. You know, to another episode of the Demi God Chronicles. It's your boy Asante Dai, aka Demi God. We back here on another recording day. Got some good people in the building. That 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 nod was a pass on. Hey, what's up? It's uh, Jace back over here. I'm uh, <laughs> off camera because I don't know. I'm off. I just want to be incognito today. You know, just a voice. He didn't shave his legs. You said, "Yeah, I'm Did looking you crazy." Your legs? Yeah, you do? Huh? You shave your legs? Nah, I don't. I just wanted to go <laughs> with the joke, <laughs> but I don't want that out there. I don't want people <laughs> thinking I shaved my legs. You can use an air. That's cool. Nah, that's that shit that burns it off, right? Hell yeah! yeah. Closes like the hair follicles, and nah, I'm good. That can't be safe, right? Yeah, nah, right? What are we doing here? That's crazy. Chemically burning your shit off. That's yeah. yeah. Welcome, guys, back to another episode. My name is Christian Lopez, another co-host. Um, we got a special guest today. You're, 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 you're. What's going on, yeah? I'm incognito. Yeah, he's off cam. No so, voice, is no face. Cam? Left huh? kneecap. They're definitely catching us. It's just left kneecap. You yeah, know? that's it. We got to You know, that's all you get to know. We got a calf muscle uh, as a guest <laughs> today. Yeah, <laughs> calf muscle. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's fucking hilarious. But um, Chris has a story to tell us. About, about oh Twitter. yeah, man. We gotta hear Twitter? this shit. Yeah, we've yeah. been waiting like three weeks, four right. weeks to hear this shit. Yeah, I went through we see this story. Yeah, you don't remember the last episode you told us you were like, I got I gotta tell you guys about this, but on mic, and we didn't get to it. At the mm-hmm. end of the last episode, I said that? No. At like, the beginning. Yeah, at the beginning. Yeah. yeah. I said at the beginning of the last episode. You said that before we started recording last episode. And then I never told the no, story. We, we were in the office dis- discussing. You know, we were having one of those long winded discussions. Okay. We had. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And then we mentioned it, okay. but we never got to it on mic. Ah. Uh, you know? All right. So I deleted my Twitter. And <gasps> da, 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 da. <laughs> I deleted you did what? Why? I, I deleted Twitter app. Cause I bought some stocks in Eli and I'm joking. Um I deleted it, bro, because so I was talking to my boy. We were all having a discussion on um social media and we got on Twitter. And we we're just talking back and forth and, and you know, the, the conversation ended and took Twitter is very toxic, right? There was various reasons thrown out why Twitter is toxic, but my main reasons why is every time you go to a thread of a discussion, right? Instead of people like 
having cordial, like disagreeing conversations and trying to like come to something, a conclusion or something. <laughs> it's always the most wildest shit you could possibly think of, bro. People are talking to each other crazy. Oh, yeah. People are <laughs> rapping. Up, yeah. you, people are rapping. Up, like, no, there's nothing progressive happening on Twitter, bro. And sometimes I would read important stuff. I go read something about the economy or something. It's, like, it's, I go, it's not civil discourse. Yeah, I go, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I go read something. I'm like, and then it'd be like, someone civil will say war. something. Bro, someone will say something like, that's misinformation. Like, it's just not true. And it gets like 200,000 uh, retweets or 100,000 likes. And I go to comments, people are agreeing with it. And it's like, yo, this is just not true, though. And then I'm th thinking to myself, sometimes when even like someone to give an opinion and it's like, I'm, it's kind of an off-put opinion, in my yeah. opinion. I guess I'm like, wow, is this, I was, is Twitter an accurate representation of the world? And then I thought to myself, it's not. So, <laughs> no. so I thought to myself, it's not. It's not. I came to the conclusion that it's not. So I thought to myself, I am spend X amount of time on this app, consuming all this information. It's all like, Bro, this is giving me a jaded view of the world. I'm thinking like, this is the world. And it's like, it's not. I got to get rid of this app. It's, been, it's changing my opinion of society. And I didn't like that. So I had to get rid of it. You got to take shit like that with a grain of salt. <laughs> nah, I was getting too deep into it, bro. I was reading shit like, you know, something simple like about the economy or like about, about you know, black, our, our culture or what can we do to progress people before? And, and you would read someone say something. It's like. Damn, like, bro. A lot of people agree with this. this kind I, of I I read some shit. This girl was outraged, mm -hmm. and she was talking about how this girl, like, um, <laughs> she was like, "Oh, if you're not black, you shouldn't be speaking on 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 topics about people of color or some <laughs> shit like that." <laughs> and someone was like, "But I'm Spanish." She said, "Exactly." <laughs> He's like, "But I'm a person of color." <laughs> And then, like, but you know, you know, it's crazy. Like, the, the person who said that, right? I bet you there's X amount of people who read that, retweeted, and was like, yeah. Yeah, because they all have the same misunderstanding of what the, I think Twitter is just everyone's like alter ego. Like, the shit you can't say in real life. Like, I just can't go on Twitter and say it. Like, like my mean but those, twin. But those, but those are the people, though. Like, that's a side of they might, they might, they might not have the courage to display to the world. But that is a part of them. And it's like, yo, those people go out and vote. Yeah, but with so, those so, like just you believe in things that just we all know just aren't true or like a misconceptions like things like that and like you go out there and you are a voter you are a you know a biased so I have a question for you then yeah so is that a real representation of the world not a, now are you actually seeing the actual world on Twitter that's because what I'm now you're seeing you said it's a false representation before I was trying to be positive I'm saying maybe that's like a <laughs> Maybe that's like a real rep representation of what I people think really it's a feel. Part of, I think it's a part of people, bro. Yeah. But I, you know, I think it was making me a little jaded. So I delete it for a little bit. Like, I don't I mean, know. Honestly. My, my, the way I look at it is like people have an understanding of certain things. So I, boom, let maybe, right? In that yeah. certain situation, like what, what I just said, she's being, right? Mm -hmm. Or trying to be. Mm -hmm. right, a proactive thinker and saying yeah. that, you know, certain people shouldn't speak on things, yeah. which is okay. That's freedom of speech. You can yeah. say, but her understanding of the, of the, of the term person of color yeah. or people of color, yeah. she's wrong. And she doesn't know that. Yeah. Right. So maybe all these other people that are wow. liking and retweeting You're also sure. don't have the same understanding okay. of it. I want to show you guys this photo. I'll pass a photo around. This is an important photo. Keep talking though. But I just feel like a lot of people, they don't, they don't really look because I've seen stuff in Twitter comments where a person will be outraged, and then they'll be like, "Like you're looking at the wrong thing," and a person like, "Oh, like good looks." So it's like a person, their first. Have you thought, seen that on Twitter? Yeah, a person, oh, a person's okay. thought is just to be opinionated because that's the app that 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 they're on. Yeah, um, what's the purpose of Twitter though? Isn't it the purpose of Twitter was to be a opinionated like, yeah it's not but, why twitter was created but it's, it's not always it's not always some people their goal isn't always to be right or say things that are about your opinion no, this, is, this is the problem. <laughs> it's just about it's people, their opinion people don't people have this tendency to not want the truth they just want to be right like they don't want to do the right thing they want to they, they want to express their truth it's no difference than like 
um, ESPN and First Take, like they don't go on these shows to tell the truth. Like Stephen A. Stephen A. is not yeah. going on there. To, like but they're going on there to tell their what they feel is right. Like this is my or opinion. the hottest take or the hottest. Yeah. I think Twitter Twitter is the same thing now. Just on every other but, thing besides sports. Like yeah. who's that's one of the hot takes? Huh? Whose nudes are these? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, is, I gotta read it. Twitter's the same thing, though. Just yeah. about everything else, like yeah. I don't but certain things are an opinion. Like I can have an opinion based on fact, but I can't make f- opinions fact. But th- I that, can't make my opinion a fact. But I can have your facts. Opi- no, 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 no. <laughs> I can't make my opinion fact, but I can have opinions based on fact. Uh, that, that's true. That's true. But some people don't have the understanding of that but those are still and that's what i know i know that already though but i'm saying that i it, twitter is making me see that or like was showing me something and i would then I think th- to myself i just think you're giving the world oh too God, much credit people vote with this type of mindset or people like are making decisions in life based on this type of mindset and it's like <laughs> whoa all i gotta do is get on the highway and watch how some of these motherfuckers drive and I'm like, that's a person voting. Uh, Chris, <laughs> you, th- right? Chris, I think you were giving people too much credit. Chris, what uh, you mean? Uh, like the uh, fact uh, that you thought that it was anything else, like Tori had to let you know that, like it's been that. But Chris, a, per- a, <laughs> a person that's about to miss their exit right here, right? And would leave this lane in the outer lane and cut all three cars to make that exit. You think that's a person that should be voting? You think there were, there were a lot decision? of there was a lot of like pit stops before you were Twitter that shit told you that I, it's so nah, wild people vote. Then it's like you know I know people do stuff like that. I know I've you know if you, if you talk about people and some you have conversations with people and you're like oh my god, but then when it comes to like important stuff, you know not I guess some things are important to certain people, but like you know things that affect other people's lives. Like when it comes to having an opinion on a decision that like whatever if I my opinion on this is gonna mess up, affect your life, his life, and your life. Mm-hmm. I would think that I thought that, you know, you know, people were aware of what the facts were, knew, you know, it was all like people. You're asking people to do research before they talk. (laughs) Yeah. It's a lot. (laughs) That's a lot. It's a lot. Chris, a lot of people aren't rational think. They just think what they think is right. And that's not okay. There's bad people. A a lot of people, they just, you ever heard someone being like wrong and strong? Yes, oh, that's, that's what that's what most that's of what people, Twitter was. Yes, I saw. bro. But you, but you, as a person who's quiet and right, <laughs> you you just gotta just see that shit and just brush it off because like, at the end of the day, you trying to like yeah. educate the masses, bro. You're literally just yeah. fucking. <laughs> You're pouring water into a cup with no bro, bottom, bro. There's dead, <laughs> like, but there's dead people that go like Wikipedia for information. Like, yeah, like bro. Yeah. people don't go to credited sources. So like, they're in their mind, they're like, yo, I read this article with told me X, Y, and Z. They're not looking like who published the article. Bro, I took a who, class. Who's the article? Took, you know, it's funny. I'm gonna I, tell you a funny story. And this is what makes me. That's why I be laughing at myself because like you hear me say all this, and he said like people don't look at credible sources. But I saw something on uh, about sports though, because that's my problem. Mm-hmm. Like. I saw some wrestling about sports and I said to the group chat, like, yo, this is crazy. Yo, it was from ball sack sports guy. <laughs> <laughs> but that should be getting niggas, bro. It caught that me. should definitely get niggas. It caught me. I was like, my friends was like, like yo, LeBron's bro. going to the NFL on a seven-year deal. <laughs> <laughs> it was something about the Lakers. So you know, I got hype. That's I'm like, yo, hell. Kyrie the Lakers. Nah, that, that account is funny because they 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 learned the format of an official. <laughs> And they really tweeted out like an official account. That's so, how people be with the real world, though. Yeah, that's the crazy bro, part. Yeah, I want. I was in class once, and yeah. there was a girl in my class, bro. Yeah, who legit could not understand the fact that like she lost points on her bibliography mm-hmm. because she had like multiple dot coms in there, and she was just like, "It's a website, like it's on the internet." She was like, "Yeah, it's not a learned source. Like it's not a scholastic site. It's not." A database like it has that to be dot gov or that yeah, dot org. Nothing, right? She she was like, honestly, she was like, I sometimes I don't even want my students to use Google. Like they wanted us to use like um yeah we had a like the library database. Google was terrible. Yeah, we had a so, database. You feel me? So it's like at the school, and the reason why she said that too is like she was like the school pays like a lot of money for that. Yeah, like, to have access because, to that, bro. Like algorithms, right? Yeah. So Google is a search engine. It's not a research engine. Like those school databases were like I have one from Muhlenberg, bro. You type something up. It's pulling up old articles, scholarly mm-hmm. old articles, book references, the government documents. Like that's a research engine for you to do research. But <laughs> fucking scarred, bro. I had, took a class on the yeah. operations of thirteen seventy five to seventeen seventy five of the U S. and Guatemala uh, so exchange. Wild. Absolutely terrible, bro. I don't know what the fuck he learned. It, it was <laughs> it was a time based class. <laughs> everything everything we did, bro. We had to go to the library. We had to type some shit into the database. Uh, and then that stuff, what I don't like about that stuff is they don't, 
It's like scan documents almost. Sometimes. Yeah. Like my nigga, put it into yeah. a font that I can read, bro. Yeah. It looks like that ink where it's like <laughs> some of the words are gone, but some of them are still there. Yeah. And I'm like trying to read through this shit and I have to highlight it. You know, you can highlight yeah. it and like it'll just like type it up on the side. Now I'm trying to read through this little ass panel on yeah, the side. You don't want to read it. You're asking somebody to read a whole document and but type what, it you up. You know what's crazy? No, I'm fine with reading it. I just want it to be in a bolder font. You know what's oh, crazy? Yeah, Back you, then, you. that's all they had. Yeah. Like probably. they had to go find the document. Yeah. Isn't like, that crazy? Bro, I did, I did, I did something one day. And I was like, it could only be in one place. <laughs> it's in one place. I gotta one place drive yeah, 30 miles yeah. that way to get Look, a book. Th- this <laughs> this was probably like back, back then Twitter, right? Yeah. So the, the US, we basically were trying to um, help fund a war, right? In Guatemala. Yeah. And we were trying to help this part of the government overthrow this part of the government, right? Mm-hmm. So we were supposed to give mm-hmm. the resistance yeah. um, weapons and help them, you know, train them and Basically, so they can overthrow their their dictator that was in their country. Bro, these niggas gave the wrong weapons to the wrong people. And they had the person who was, like, voting. I mean, the person who was running who would have been, like, their Bernie Sanders. Yeah. Got that nigga killed. Like, <laughs> and, and, and it's, like, it's open documentation. Like, my teacher was like, yeah. He's like, he's like, there's a bunch of mistakes like this that they purposely keep out of American textbooks. And he was like, did, like he lived in other places so he can understand why people demonize America for certain things like that, because that would be like our only lasting impression on their society that yeah. this country came here and did this yeah. and fucking funded the wrong side of the war. But I want, what I want people to remember abroad, if you guys can hear this, America's a Republic. <laughs> we, we so we vote these people in, you know, they don't tell us the truth on everything. They go do these operations and they don't, they don't ask us about it, if they should do it or not first. You know what I'm saying? They didn't ask the people, should we go and go out of Mala? Or Venezuela and Cuba and do all this, this, and this. So don't take your pain out on us. We sympathize with you. You know what I'm saying? We've been through it too. So we yeah. understand. So we're not your enemy. So when China and all, we're not your enemy. You know what I'm saying? It's what the, you know, the people in power, they be tripping. Yeah. I you mean, know, if man. y'all come scoop us, we, we... No, don't come scoop us. Don't start a war with us. Don't be, you know, no war got, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying we could chill. We could talk about it. Yeah. You know, I know y'all hate y'all leaders too. So, you know. I'm sure. I'm sure we can have a conversation. You know, we we could talk about how we don't like our leaders together. You know, why we got to beef? That's why I don't get about wars. Like, you know how Russia sent you know their soldiers to Ukraine war, and I'm I'm thinking like from Russia, right? From if I was a Russian citizen, obviously if I was really in in it, I wouldn't think like this. But it's like, man, fuck this guy, man. He he treats like shit. You know, he got us. Why am I gonna go go to war for this guy? I'm not going to war for this guy. But they all. I guess if I was in it, I'd probably go to war too. But like, yeah, people are terrified, bro. I was explaining that. Damn, I was right? explaining that to Muharrem like two weeks. He was like, "I think it's war." He's like, "I think war is dumb." I was like, "Why?" He was like, "Cause this shit could just not happen." I'm like, it, "You were yeah. there for that, right?" But it makes sense though. I'm like, "I'm like, how?" He was like, "Oh, everybody could just decide they're not going to war." That's real. And and also, said, but you're also, bro, like, you're 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 relying on like a him. hive mind yeah, thought, so right? <laughs> for everyone to decide the same thing that you're thinking, yeah, right. And be like, all right, we're doing this. And then it doesn't happen. Bro, there's niggas that don't leave for senior skip day. Like, they're like, nah, I'm not yeah. skipping. I don't want to get in trouble like everybody else. And now if, if enough people don't skip, five people skip. And then the rest of the senior class stayed. Yeah. That's fucking like, bro, yeah. you, you, you you run into some shit trying to... Trying to I, th- I think you're also brainwashed, right? Like, you got to think another country, they're not giving you the full story. Like, they didn't get you to go to war about, like, what they want you to know. Same thing in the U.S., right? Yeah. Like, you vote for a certain president based off of what they tell you. Like, you know what? Like, mm-hmm. he has good points. Like, I'm not looking at the other side. So, you're in Russia. He's probably going to, like, go to war because of X, Y, and Z. Like, you want this, we got to go to that's war. That's what I'm saying. So that's why I, I They're thinking from a small-minded um, yeah, mindset. That's mindset. That's what if I was in their situation, I would probably, I would do the same thing because... You don't have, you don't have don't, the other, the other yeah. side, the other I don't know mindset. what it's like. Yeah. If America was like, yo, Christian, listen. If they came to all of us, all citizens, was like, listen. I'm flat-footed. If you don't go to... <laughs> basically, I'm flat-footed, I'm broke. If we don't go to war, none of y'all eat. That's it. For every citizen who doesn't send a boy in their household to war is getting no more food. We're most likely all gonna go. I got oatmeal in yeah. the crib. Gonna go to no, no, no. Go. they wrap it up. They, they took all the food. Done. No food. Oh, they threaten your family members. Like Yo, you gotta go to war to save your mom. And, and we all, X, all of us in this room You're would going. be in war. Loophole. Would be, I'm gonna do something to go to jail. You have to feed me in there. I have to. So some one of your brothers can't, gotta can't, go. Can't imprison, can't imprison me and starve me. One of y'all gotta go. What someone that gotta go is unethical, bro. They they what. <laughs> 
So I don't know. I'm not, I'm not living in a situation, but I wish sometimes like, but, he's, but if like Muharram said, if though, if this would ever happen, yeah. if everyone at the same time would be like, we're not going to war, then they would have no choice. You have yeah. to eliminate egos of power for that though. Yeah. You'd have to have a united stand like we're not we're not fighting and anymore. I'll, and people also forget yeah, this bro but you and, gotta also hope that the other side does the same that's thing. unrealistic exactly well ukraine would it's have like never seen from the dark night where they both have the switch to mm-hmm. blow up the other boat you guys don't remember mm-hmm. that yeah and it's just you gotta hope the other person doesn't blow you up either you know yeah but in in communist and like fascist fucking states bro yeah they like heavily rely on fear bro so it's like a lot of people aren't even they're not even like, oh, I believe in this person's ideals. Yeah. I, I wanna I wanna serve them for whatever reason. Yeah. It's just like if I don't, this is gonna happen. Yeah. Like, so it's the fear of the lack of doing it. So that's, like, you, that's a lot of that's a big part that drives is that they're afraid of the person that they're serving. Kendrick, um, he spoke about it on his album a little bit, and he got it from Eckhart Tolle. Mm-hmm. That he says that basically like the human, the societal conscience, like we all, every human being makes up like the consciousness of the earth. And it's sick. Like he says, the human consciousness, collective consciousness is sick because we do sick things. And if we were all healthy and healed on a spiritual level, we wouldn't do these things. Like he was talking about communism, for instance, how it led to the deaths of millions and millions of people. And it's like, how could we in the 20, it was like the 21st century, Mm -hmm. do something so harmful that would end up in the deaths of millions and millions of people with humans, individuals acting them out. He's saying that's the sick culture. That's a sick society. Yeah. You know, and all even some other things we do too. So he always calls for like a a spiritual healing of the of the human conscience. Yeah, I mean, the way the way shit is just ran in general is just everything is so like everything's based on re- natural resources and mm-hmm. you know <clears throat> what you can provide. So as far as like that goes for us, we don't like. We we have like oil, you know, other like yeah. natural resources and stuff like that. But in like the grand scheme of the world, yeah, the, the niggas we trying to go to war with, it, or or like that you're yeah. trying to do whatever with, they have more than you. That's something a lot of Americans don't take into account. Um, besides, you know, we have Silicon Valley and we produce a lot of great ideas. Yeah. But America doesn't produce much. We're a consuming country. Yeah, we consume a lot of things. We don't produce much anymore, and. That's not always a good thing. Whatever, everything has its pros and cons, but the cons of that can be very negative. We've been running a deficit for how many years now? Of the just the debt growing and growing, and we have to keep printing more money and more money to um, afford these debts and these crazy things you want to do. The doubt, the value of a dollar keeps decreasing. Mm-hmm. You know what is that going to look like? I remember when I was it younger, keeps going and going and going and, and going. They used to always talk about like we're in debt because of country, and I'm like, so technically. Our country can never really make money. Yeah, we really in debt though. Like, yeah. yeah. And how the, much money is it at this point? Like, that's never getting paid back. Trillions of dollars. So, so what? What, what are we doing? Like, we're yeah. not. We're never paying back because, trillions and of it's, dollars. And, it's, and it would, the world's going to end before that. No, it would be cool too. <laughs> like, so that that would balance itself out if the American citizens owned most of the government debt. But there's a lot of foreign countries that owns the debt. So even as interest rates go up, they make the money off the debt. All right, boom. Let's say so we're in a bad. Let's say situation. another country swoops in right now, right? Mm-hmm. Like yo, we gonna pay America's debt off, right? They pay our debt off. Who are we paying it to? Is my who question. is? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I know. Like, that's who, what I never. Who said. do we owe money at? We this owe point? a lot of money to China. So what happens if we don't pay China? What's gonna happen? Other countries buy our debt too. Yeah, they buy our debt. I'm saying that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm and, saying right like, and now, yeah. if your country has no debt, what like how how much different does a country look? Yeah. Like? If a country has no debt, I don't know. We'd have, like we'd is, have to, is, are the days sunnier? We'd have to go back to 19. <laughs> it'd, look, it'd look worse. <laughs> no, wouldn't it? Like what, how does it? Because you're how taking that, money and should that, be, it should be going into the country. So you live in a better country. How? But, so right. that list would be worse. What? Like for a country. What are you talking about? Like, you, you know. How much debt do you think Afghanistan has? You know what I'm saying? What like, is it for? Like, what I'm saying not, is like, you, not a lot. You paying that money? What's it actually doing? Like, yeah, if that if that if that money was paid and the debt was clear, yeah, what is op- what is operating differently in our country? The same thing like you. So if right now if we have if you have a debt that you owe the MPA sometime, you owe them bank, and what happened? You have to pay interest. So you think we're paying like trying like a monthly check? <laughs> yeah, we. Pff. Do we? <laughs> like, do we? Do we? Do we do, I mean, how much products does America? You give it to them, man. What? 
How, what do you give it to them in U.S. dollars? U.S. dollars. So we're really like US, cutting them money every called? month. U.S. dollars. They send just like a basically big Basically, U.S. Envelope. dollars is what you use buy to buy oil and oil. do business. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's the what's the word? So like oil it's prices the, and stuff uh, be cheaper for U.S. by the barrels if we start. No, barrels. it's just the it's the currency you have to use. The currency you, ah, there's a word for it. And I can't remember. Um, but it's the U.S. dollar is that thing. It's just by basically what you buy oil and what you do business in. It's the U.S. dollar. So it's a trust. It's like the universal currency, I guess. I've, there's a word yeah. for it, though. A phrase. Yeah. What? For that. I know what he's talking about. There is a word. I can't remember it right now. It's how yeah. we measure how much a gallon of oil or a, yeah. a barrel of oil is worth. Yeah. The US I just want to see what that monthly like, invoice looks like. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> word, no. right? But seriously, that's why, like. What happened? That's why I said not just like word, right? Like, I don't like, know. That's like, why, like, what's the process? Like, I never thought that deep about like, it. What's the like, process? Who, who's writing that check and who's it going to every month? Facts. Is it yearly? Annually? Because, <clears throat> like, if, if someone said, all right, boom, I can't, you, like, you can go to school, but you'll be in debt, but you can still operate in like your day to day life. You can still thrive. Everything. So it's just like, all right, boom, that school debt would just be hanging over your head, but you're never really suffering from it. But it's not like that. Like eventually, you know, mm -hmm. shit goes to collections. But you are suffering shit, because fucking, what if you don't pay? You don't have credit. You don't. So Look, what, that's what I was why, asking. But this is, like, so this is why it's important. So like, say, even for your personal selves, it's a personal finance works, same thing for government. They have a balance of books. So if you're making, let's say, $100,000, that's how much money you're making on a yearly basis. You have, you have expenses, but... As you have expenses, you also have debt you need to keep paying back. You have to mm -hmm. pay back your debt fix, and you're also going to have to pay interest on that debt as well. Now, as let's say your $100,000 that you're making starts to decrease. You start making less and less revenue. What doesn't change is the debt and interest expense. Yeah. So if you ever get to a point in time where the margins that you're making on your revenue can no longer cover your debt and your interest expense, now you have a problem. Mm -hmm. And usually you have agreements covenants with those debt agreements that hey certain ratios can't drop below these measures then they can start recalling so if america ever gets to the point where like it's not hasn't have enough revenue coming in where it could pay back its debt or pay back its debt and america really gets to a really 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 bad situation even, even though our dollar is getting more devalued so mm -hmm. but like I, I just don't know i don't know enough to know where that would make us end up i've been learning about it like really trying to understand what's going well what, what would happen to America, but I know one thing: keeping keeping cash reserve, like keeping dollars, isn't the best thing to do right now. Like because of the our dollar keeps devaluing. So like, what a dollar would have bought you last year is even less this year. And gotcha. It's gonna it keeps getting worse. Yeah, even to every time they print money, every time inflation, like it's not printing of money causes inflation. Yeah, and they keep printing money. So the dollar right buy is gonna keep going down, down. We're gonna have left purchasing power. So you're yeah. better off owning things yeah. that will appreciate in value compared to the dollar. Yeah. So you want assets. Yeah, that makes sense. How do you factor in depreciation though? On depreciation? It depends on what on it the is. Assets, like, it depends on what it is. You factor that in before you start purchasing these assets. Like what's your Yeah, if you do a whole model. Yeah. Yeah, if you're gonna do it, yeah, you do a whole model, you want to asset out the life. But certain things don't have depreciation value, like especially things you aren't using. Like things have useful life like machinery or like a building. But as you upgrade it, it goes up. But things like a painting, for instance, there's no really, I'm not into that. I don't really know, but I would assume there's no useful life on a painting. As long as you keep it in mint condition, you're not, there's no depreciation of it because it's still in the same exact condition, like a pair of sneakers. Like I can't, I don't, if I don't wear the sneaker, it doesn't depreciate. So certain things you, you don't always depreciate things based on the years you own it. Yeah. You also depreciate it based on the usage out of it. The, the so usage don't start using and it, it the, the quantity. Like, yeah. There's a there's one artist that his paintings depreciated recently, yeah, because it was thought that he only had this many in like existence, yeah, and then he had like a family member that like sold their house and like cleaned out their attic, mm -hmm. and they found like sixty more canvases that he did. Uh, so now when those go into market, all the whatever ten or fifteen existing ones, yeah. they become less valuable because and that's the more demand. Exist. Yeah, is he alive it's like or sneakers. dead? Yeah, what, huh? is he alive or dead? The dude? Yeah. All right. Uh he's alive. He's alive. Yeah. He can make more, right? So when yeah, artists so die, he usually more. comes but, like more. Uh, he, he's like, alive, yeah. but I know he doesn't from I don't remember the reason, but he doesn't, he doesn't pay, pay anymore. Gotcha. So 
So those are all like paintings that he did in the nineties. Like the same thing, like sneakers though. Like you know, there's more sneakers out there. The value is gonna be a little bit cheaper versus. Yeah, that's a, the, it's supply and demand. There's there's, man, there's, right? there's, there's yeah. artists like writers do the Market. same thing. They they choose like pen names and shit like that. But there's artists that have like created like fake, um, personalities like personas, and they use like a pseudonym, and they were like, oh, like I painted this, right? Asante painted this, but I'm like, yo, this is um. This is a uh, Arcasio Cronacho's painting. He lived in the seventies. You know, he died of a heart attack. Whatever. I found a few, and then it's like until someone like carbon dates the painting, niggas will really be running like a whole hustle, like just create a fake person because mm. dead people like their stuff sell better for yeah. whatever reason. Yeah, like, you gotta be because there's be- a max supply now. They can't make any more. Yeah. yeah, it's like that's it. There's twenty four of them. And mm-hmm. that's why crypto, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, what's your stance on crypto? Want to hear it now? My stance on crypto? Yeah. I think it's going to be, it's very useful. I think some projects will fail, some will succeed. And it's going to, I think blockchain and technology is going to outlive me. Um, so I believe you should invest into it wisely. I believe that. I'm not a financial advisor. I don't recommend anything. <laughs> Neither am I, but Bitcoin's dead. Yeah? Yeah, sell it. I'll buy it. (laughs) You sell your Bitcoin. You should sell your Bitcoin. I'll buy it. All right? That's what I'll say about it. (laughs) Not a financial advisor. Not a financial advisor. But um, uh, music. A lot of music has happened since we've been here live. Mm -hmm. Uh, No, we got to talk about it. Yes, he dropped dropped a great album. Got to talk about it. Finally, I've been waiting to talk about Jack Harlow so bad. So bad, right? <laughs> so bad. I didn't, even, I didn't hear his album yet. Is it good? Uh, it's all right. It's, it's all right. Good. It's uh, it's very well produced. It might be a little bit too polished for my liking. I don't... It's, it's not raw enough? I, I This is this is one thing before we get into it. It's not that. raw enough? Wait, who's are, wait, who's are we talking about right Jack now? Jack Harlow right now. Oh, we're talking about... Now that, oh. you, now that you jokingly brought him up, okay, I'll talk okay. about it. All right, we can talk about I don't. I don't like when artists do a thing where it's like I right, boom I I'm coming up in the in the music industry in the industry right I have a sound I have a producer I work with you know this is what got me popular now they remove themselves from that market and it's like you should because you're leveling up like I'm with the big boys now but now every other song is like I'm working with this artist this producer this artist this producer like oh I'm Pharrell track, Timberland track, this person's track. This. So it's like, it's cool that you're working with all these people for the first time, but at the same time, your album doesn't sound as raw, like you said before, as which is a, like a tone that I liked of his. It's like his so, stuff seemed kind of like unpolished. So he needs to be, he need to be dropping albums and then dropping like some 5 a.m. in Toronto on the side or like, a, yeah. yeah. Because like, I like, I like the fact that he, um, he can he can create like a really good song, but then a, 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 some of his older stuff that I like from him mm-hmm. is just like literally those fucking lo-fi YouTube beats, and he's just on there just spitting. Now it's like the song's broken up; they're changing his vocals. They're, he need a you know? he need like a sincerely yours tape, yeah, like something like just just raw or like he need like a demons like something that's just not a mm-hmm. you know a commercial thing meant to sell records and make money. Yeah. You know, he need to go back to like his authentic roots. And, and, and I also, I enjoy the fact that he's making music now intentionally, like with a, like he, it's not just a song he's making. He's making a song with like a theme, like first class. It has like a feel to it, it has all those things. But what I will say, and I think I've said this on the pod before, people need, need, need to relax with the sampling shit. And if you're going to sample a song, Call right? Kanye. If you're going to sample a song, the song should not sound like the original song. Call Do Kanye. not change one tempo or change the beat a little bit. One thing. And then now it's like you listen to Good Life, you wouldn't, unless you're listening to that song, yeah. you wouldn't think, oh, this is, he sampled PYT, Michael Jackson. It's a complete, it's, you can hear it. If you slow down a beat, you can hear it. It's saying he PYT. He sampled PYT for yeah. Good Life? Play, play Good Life on your phone right now. You'll hear PYT Kanye? in the back, the whole song. Absolutely. Wow. Wait. Yeah. And I believe you, but wow. But like, you feel me? Simple shit like legend. that. Like, first class. <laughs> He's a legend. Clearly, Fergalicious or whatever. I also feel like it was. I feel like a lot of artists they they flow switch up. It's not really them. It's the label. 
You gotta say like once you get the Try label, chicken, once you boy. get the label attached, you, you don't really have uh, creative content. You, like you, think, yeah. you, you think, don't have ownership over your over your content anymore. Like you think uh, like Joey's Tory, about to drop. I pray he drops a raw album, bro. And he signed to Atlantic. Right. Y'all know how Le- how Atlantic does. Ninety yeah. percent. You think Tory Lanez would have been able to drop an eighties album if he was still on his record deal? I don't know. Oh, Absolutely bro. not. You lose your creativity. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Like that. That to me is is what says like I right, boom. This artist is trying to grow because they're doing shit. Like you're you're trying different things. Like you shouldn't you as a label, you should trust the product that came to you, right? That's like me going, yo, I just I just had a sandwich from fucking Cruz's Deli Shop. The sandwich is good. I feel like the sandwich could sell everywhere, right? The sandwich is what sold me that made me want to put in money into your deli shop. Yeah. Now I should come in. I should say, hey, let's use this packaging. Let's use these plastic bags. Yeah. We'll use these straws, these napkins, whatever. But right? you make the damn sandwich. Everything, right? but you make the sandwich. You feel yeah. me? Like it's your sandwich. I shouldn't come in like, hey, we should switch to low fat Italian dressing. And hey, we should use garlic salt instead of yeah. regular salt. We should like, start a label. Feta cheese would be great on yeah, it. Yeah, you know, we should start a label. Like, nah, this is not that's not what you paid for, bro. No, I understand like, though. The people that run that run these labels probably weren't artists, right? So they're running their own numbers. Exactly. They're running their own numbers in the background saying, like, hey, if you do this, my my marketing team or my financial team says that this is the result that it's gonna yield, right? Yeah. So they're, they're looking at it from a financial standpoint, right? Like you as a normal consumer or as an actual like avid consumer, baby, like, you know what, like yeah, Carlo missed this, but from a numbers wise, that might be his best selling uh, album since he came out. So from yeah. a label perspective, it's like you know he's we, climbing up. Like there's, there's two different like perspectives and sides. Yeah. Uh, you know who you knows really the fault? You know whose fault this is? Uh, the consumer. Hundred percent. We gotta stop. If we don't like something, or we don't like a company, or we don't like like we should just boycott all Atlantic artists. Tell them stop messing with the music, and then if you don't like a company, like we should all boycott Pepsi. Until they take out all the poison. And I they, think what they, happens they, is they though, can't. like they say, like no publicity is bad publicity, right? Like, like Drake. Everyone says, like, yo, I hate Drake's album, but like, Tough. everyone's yeah. going to listen to it, right? Like, right. or you Tough. may like it, right? But yeah. the publicity is still driving <laughs> I, you to listen to that album, which is still getting God streams, know, still getting yeah, views. You're like, yo, why are people so upset about this Drake exactly. album? I got to hear it now. Yeah, and you're like, oh yeah, this isn't what I was this is what I like, but but you, but you still stream every song. Yeah, I still listen to um, the whole thing. Sticky's fire, by the way. Yeah. First of all, like, I, now, keeper, now, I, now we get now we get into the drink. We, we could do we could do a full breakdown, right? A keeper's so, tongue. Oh, that, that was my comment. But when I first heard that he was dropping an album, at first I was skeptical. I'm like, Drake doesn't drop music this close to, to other music. Like I don't really see him dropping an album. Yo, can we speak on that though? Like the toughness. I don't know if you like of the of the album cover. Yes. Right, so his last album cover had the pregnant woman. He strategically dropped nine months after. Like the creativity is just fucking it's next level, ridiculous. It's right? Next level, and then right. So this album drops. At first, I'm like, I don't know what to expect from it. The intro plays. It seems like a soft Drake intro, whatever. There's no words on it. The next song plays, and then he has he has other songs that he's created like this. Get it together, summer games. You know, uh, the other song he has with Georgia. And Coffee Black, the dude that produced the album, you know, that's a, a th- th- those, these, these are good songs, right? Yeah. So I'm like, all right, cool. First song, he's got a little, little bag, and then the next song plays, and the next song plays. So I'm like, hmm. Because when it first came out on rap, Apple Music, it said rap because it's Drake. Did it? You know? Yeah. Oh, mine said dance. I now said. it says dance. Oh. When it first came out, it said rap because Drake didn't announce he was dropping a dance album. Mm-hmm. He's a rap artist from saying I'm releasing an album. Mm-hmm. They're going to identify as rap. So once I, I, I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to listen to it. But I just went and like clicked on a couple more songs. I was like, all right, this is this is full. Like at first I was calling it like, you know, like just house music. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this is like full house. It's like full house album. Yeah. So then I went back, you know, pressed on the, the second one again, listened to uh, Falling Back or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I was like, this is a vibe. Because mm-hmm. I already listen to music like that. Like I listen to K Tronada. Mm-hmm. You know, I listen to like, Coffee Black, like some of those people, like, mm-hmm. and I, I always love like mixes and shit like that. Yeah. So, for me, it's not outside of my 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 my, my even me my spectrum. Mm-hmm. And I already like listen to shit like that when I paint. Yeah, this is like up tempo. So for me, it was it was good because it was like the best of both worlds. My favorite mm-hmm. artist, and then that type of music, mm-hmm. and then I also appreciated the fact that like he, fucking, every album people complain about him playing it safe, like. 
He's going to have a song with Travis Scott that switches beats. Mm -hmm. He's going to have a a song with Thug. He's going to have a song with Future. Like he had his Jay-Z song. You know, he had like a a formula that he was creating. Did he go? Did he go? Did he have any features on here? Uh, just the Twenty One Savage. Ah, uh, I was gonna say he could. He's gonna go plat. This is gonna be his platinum, no features album. But no, nah, just that one song. He put the- but um, th- the fact that he was able to step away from everything mm-hmm. and do something, I was like, I can appreciate this for what it is because he's trying something within his artistry. Mm-hmm. Like I remember back in the day, I was the fucking biggest Kid Cudi fan. And he was like, oh, I want to do indie music. And he dropped Indie Cud. Cool. And niggas was like, oh, I'm not even listening to that shit. Like, bro, what? If I, once again, I trust his product, right? He's good at what he does. Yeah. If you go somewhere and they make good food and they say, hey, we have a new whatever. I'm like, oh, I trust the cooks back there. I mm-hmm. can try something from that kitchen. May not be something that's necessarily so, but, my wheelhouse. But, but I don't think I would say, I would tweak that analogy and say, it's like if you went to get Indian food and they say, ah, oh, but we're going to bring some Italian food too. Mm-hmm. It's more so like that. Yeah, and like some people are like, I don't like Italian. I didn't come in for Italian, but it's coming from the same kitchen. You yeah, exactly, I mean? exactly. So exactly, that's exactly. the thing is like, if you trust the cooks in the kitchen, mm-hmm. then you should be pretty good with trying to. Fact, food. if a chef is like, I know how to make Indian, I know how to make Italian, I know how to make, you know, like, I yeah, yeah I'll I try. Feel it. I feel you. Like my my dad, whenever he says some some new shit, he whipped up. I try it because my father could cook. So I'm not gonna be like, what the fuck, what is that? Like, no, I'm gonna try it. So the fact that people were. The, the, the fucking album's out for 20 minutes. This, this whole album's garbage. How? You couldn't even get through the album in 20 minutes. So how did you listen to the whole album? You just already decided that shit wasn't something that you that you wanted from him. Yeah. And that you don't want to listen to it. Yeah. And I, that's what I was telling you guys about the conversation I wanted to talk about, like two sides of thing, where I think sometimes people get mixed up between their personal opinion and like, What's like a fact for everything? Yeah. In this case, situation, so like if I think something's bad, I can't then say the album's garbage. Mm-hmm. Like it's ass. Like why would anyone listen to this? Is this like the, what? It's stupid. If you like this music, you you stupid. Like this is terrible music. It's like bro, relax. Yeah. Just because you don't like it doesn't mean everyone has to not like it. <laughs> like, I think Drake honestly just got bored. What do you say? I think Drake just got bored. He like, just want to do something new. Like, yo, he's been in the game making the same type of music for like. I don't he's know. growing, you know. He's been in the game for what thirteen years at this mm-hmm. point. So like, growing as an artist, bro. And he from still, Toronto. as an artist, like, how much like new content can you keep bringing to the same genre? I feel like, like Toronto artists do that a lot. Our Canadian artists, I don't know if they're all from Toronto. Little Weekend does that. Justin Bieber switches genres. Tory Lanez switches genres. I think they're genres. experienced to more music out there. Drake yeah. switches genres. Because they have so many different cultures in Canada, right? Like, mm-hmm. there's, you have Americans. You have so much different genres of music that is mm-hmm. out there. Like, yeah. And it, it, it gives you um, a sense of actual artistry where it's like, I'm not just doing something that I know is going to work every time. You know? Uh, like, I, yeah. I know if I created a, a certain type of palette, right? Oh my God, I could put this on a shirt. Puts on a hoodie, puts on pants, and I'm just doing it again and again and again and again, and it's selling, it's selling out. Mm-hmm. But eventually, you reach where it's like, how hard is that brand really? You know, mm-hmm. they're not taking new risks, they're not trying new stuff, they're not being innovative. Like you have to step into different shit, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like the same thing for music for me. Like when Kanye did his, this is what I said. I was like, this album is and relax, people, that you're about to go crazy. I'm not saying impact or anything like that. But what kind what what Kanye did with 808s and Heartbreaks mm-hmm. when he released that? I yeah. mean not 808s and Heartbreak, Yeezus. So yeah. when Kanye released Yeezus, this is that for Drake. Like Bro, Kanye yeah. was like, I wanted to make a rock album. You know what's funny? Like, I, was, I wanted to try to make a rock album. I was thinking the same exact thing. And then my boy Elvis said that said that. I'm like, yo, is that you're the third person now that I know who's like, yeah, come like, to the same thought process. It's, like, it's a creative process. It's mm-hmm. same thing like I said for, with indie cut for Kid yeah. Cudi and stuff like that. Like I'm an artist. I'm in this field. I'm working. I'm making this type of music, but I want to try to make this music. Remember when fucking uh, everybody forgets Lil Wayne, the greatest rapper ever. Rock right? album. He Rebirth. Never heard it. What was Rebirth? It was a full rock album. I think I think Drake's in a different category though. Like Drake's at the point where like like Drake can actually drop a trash album and it's still gonna be number one. Yeah. Like he's, he's he's earned that. Yeah. <laughs> like it's gonna like hot take, but like Drake is now like. In that Michael Jackson realm of music, where like no matter what he drops, you're gonna listen to it. Like you're gonna mm-hmm. be like, yeah. Yeah. he's in everybody's group chat. You know, drops, you know what surprised so. me? I mean, you'll like it. But yeah, but you're gonna you're to gonna it. listen yeah. to it regardless. It's Drake. You know what surprised me? Kendrick's album didn't go number one. Yeah, Kendrick doesn't have a following base like that. 
He he does, but at the same time, I think Kendrick's followers are like not as um I boom. So a person like Drake and a person like Chris Brown, even like J. Cole, they, they're gonna go back to back number ones because of their appealing factors with like girls, right? Even even with J. Cole. I know you know how many girls are like, oh my god, J. Cole's my husband. Really? Right? Mad girls like that. Hmm. And it's yeah. like they're they're like Kendrick's fan base is like the gritty. I think it's different. I like think it's backpackers. Different. I think it's different you music know? though. Like you have to actually be like a so music right. fan to listen to yeah. Kendrick, yeah. right? Like the most like, like there's there's a lot of casual Drake fans who don't know he anything wasn't? about music. They just listen to Drake because it's like Drake. Like, yeah. Like Drake, it's like Drake is just really just in a different like bracket, bro. Like bracket like it's I, different. I was explaining this before on the show, and I was like, uh, as far as like music goes, the music that I like, it it provides a certain feeling for me, right? So if I'm, if I can listen to a song and I can see myself doing something, like to a song, like y'all, I feel like I could, you feel me, be on an island, da, 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 whatever. Like, it has to do that for me, for me to like say I like the music. So his music always usually does that for me anyway, cool. Drake. Yeah. So the fact that I'm listening to this album now, and then last weekend we had we hosted a barbecue, right? It's like some of our old classmates, and the only albums that were really playing at that barbecue was the girls kept requesting Bad Bunny's album and Drake's album, and I'm seeing what the vibes is doing for the for the girls. So I know like this is this is this is the intention. I think I with. think that's the difference where where Kendrick too is like. Kendrick doesn't make music for all functions, right? Like you're not gonna be at a barbecue bar for Kendrick. It's yeah. not gonna happen, right? Screaming like the F word three times. <laughs> like yo, you can literally listen. My, aunt, to, my auntie is a man now. You can listen to you can listen to Drake. Like you can be chilling with the boys, listening to Drake. You can be at the club listening to Drake. You can be at the car. Like Drake literally has music for every yeah. every ambiance, every setting. It's transitive. Every, his yeah. music. There's not a lot of artists. He's on a radio. Imagine you like, sitting there chilling with a girl. A She's just talking. She, you got Kendrick bumping like my auntie is a man now. <laughs> It's just, it's just cer- certain certain things that it's like it's not gonna be able to provide that vibe. Yeah. And I started playing old Drake, right? Some old Drake songs. That's, I know his bangers, and the girl's like, "Nah, put that new Drake on." And ah. it's like, I right. nah, Drake, like this album's gonna. It's just album's gonna age well. Like you know, how some albums like have to grow on people and grow on I, time. It so grew like, on me. I said it to Jason the Car. It's gonna yeah. grow and crazy. I'm gonna give it another week before I give it a definite. I think I might like this album more than CLB. I'm Wilder. not mad at you. I'm mad at that. Wilder. I think I might. CLB is crazy. I don't know. I got like, I got. When a he solid... said that, the only thing I said is just like, yeah, I guess with CLB, I don't find myself going back. Yeah, to tracks that often. Champagne, yeah, but tro- that could happen Sh- with this Whoa. one. Champagne, yeah, honestly, it doesn't. Champagne I don't go back to no. Favorite. I don't go back to no CLB songs. No, no, you're bugging. Not a single See, one. I, I, I could, I could name the five songs off CLB I got in rotation. Wow. Okay. The remorse, uh, champ, champagne poetry, uh, girls want girls, um. Pipe Down is crazy. Pipe Down. TSU was crazy. TSU. I haven't heard any of these songs in a while. What? Yeah. Yeah. That's how I'm. I'm not saying they're bad songs. I'm yeah. It's been a while. Like, I, music. Just, I got in the Bible in my rotation. But I a think keeper? I like that song. Bro, that's fire. Bro, a keeper? Go crazy. Liability? Go crazy. Uh, a keeper is... Um, a keeper is nuts. Texaco the, Green is crazy. Texaco Green is fire. Oh, my gosh. Um... Sticky is fire. Calling my name is liability. Fire. Sped up too, and like regular tempo. Mm-hmm. Crazy. How'd you do that? YouTube. <laughs> and oh. Drake from Jersey. If you didn't know, by the way. Yeah. Heard the Jersey Sticky. vibes. Yeah, no. What's the what song? Too. Rocking the hips. Sticky's tough. Yeah. Sticky's a hit. Mm-hmm. What's the song after Sticky? That's tough too. And he and he he got Jersey people to be in the video. He's a video to it. Not. He filmed it. Just they didn't release it though. Massive is crazy. Massive, bro. He got Jersey Jersey people to be in a video. Yeah, good for the, him. The album itself is like, I'm I th- this is this is this is my original take on it. When people were angry with it, I said I'm not gonna lie. If Drake told us in, I don't know, February that he was dropping yeah. in June and he released this, I wouldn't have been happy. Yeah, but this was like a shock drop, like for sneakers. He's smart. You feel me? There was no wait time. You weren't. There was no anticipation. No there was singles. no build up. So if I waited for months and I press play and I heard the album, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna front. I would dead ass be talking well, about. Also, like if Drake way. came out and said, "Yo, I'm I'm dropping a dance album," how many people were not gonna listen to it? 
A whole lot of people. I right. Probably, so that's why I think originally it dropped as, you know, a rap a album. Sh- just because he knew, like, okay, like, nah. let me get those yeah. first, like, week sales. Like, mm-hmm. he's, it's market. Like, he's, yeah. he's playing chess and everybody's playing nah, chess. honestly, I knew well, my phone, literally, because I didn't listen to it the day after. The mm-hmm. day after, it said dance. No, no, when it nah, first, when it dropped, first went up, it said yeah. rap. So um, rap. I woke up the next morning. But right, it, rightfully like, so, because if a hip hop artist says that he's dropping an album, and he yeah. never says I'm changing the genre. Yeah, like the same thing with with Tyler, bro. When he when he did Tar, sorry, call me via law, sorry. Um, what kind of album is that? It's no. a, it's an alternative. Well, before that, thought Igor, Igor. Sorry, Igor. Igor's an alternative album, oh. and he said he wanted to be alternative pop, but he said he didn't felt he didn't feel like he had to say, "I'm releasing an alternative pop album." He said I, I, people should have listened to it and heard it, and it should have been rank, uh, ranked with that. Because he was mad that that was the first, this is the first album he decided to step away from rap. And then now this is the year he wins his Grammy for best rap album. He's like, nigga, I wasn't trying to be a rap. Like, I wasn't trying to rap on this album. Then they try to like, all the so, why you, so why do you put it up for the rap Grammy? Huh? Why do you put it up for the rap Grammy? I mean, you don't get to choose what your... Don't you, don't you put your album up for... Um, I think you submit it. You submit it. I don't think you choose... He, su- he submitted to the Grammys, but you don't, he didn't submit like... He didn't submit the genre. Yeah. Okay, that's how it works. But because he's a rap artist, they said that. Or if he 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 might have, and I think they put it as rap or something like that. He, I think that might have might have put I you think, in a box. Yeah, I think they might have did that. Too. Yeah, he and said he, it, Yeah, he, he was he compared it to like being called like whenever someone says urban. Yeah, he's like, oh, just because I'm black, I got to be in like the rap category. He's mm-hmm. like, no, it was a pop album. I should, they they that cut should, his mic, I think. That shit was not. That, that shit was not a rap. He said that album. on a Grammy stage. Yeah, real, he's, he's, a, he's a real one, yeah. bro. But, but but like I said, you look at certain <laughs> systems, and you see how outdated that shit is. Even with um, Lil Nas X, that yeah. that fucking old town, he had the biggest song, right? Country song because it had an eight hundred eight in the back. They said it's not a country song. And then it's a rap my boy song. Billy Ray Cyrus. Then Billy Ray Cyrus. They said if he gets on a song, then it's a country song. It was a he country. remixed that shit and did him that favor, so it could be a country song. That's tough. and he had the biggest country song that year. You know how many people's fucking mad? Billy Ray, fucking a real one. Tucker Ring Carlson. <laughs> yeah. God, yeah, God. Damn That's what I'm it. saying. Even even in people like I feel like the people who are in the dance category, I'd be sick. Like you spent your whole life trying to become the best dance artist in the world. I think Kelvin Harris dropped this year too, and he barely dropped. Kelvin Harris is a goat too. Or... And Drake dropped. It. <laughs> Drake, he, every award that you thought you had, a, yeah, every award that you thought you had a chance of winning just went out the window. Yeah, he was like, "I'm running away with the dance Grammy this year." Like Drake, then Drake just dropped took every, <laughs> and it's a side project for. Him. You know right, what I'm saying? Uh, and that's and, and you're like, I've been dedicating my life to this album. <laughs> and you hope you're just thinking you could. I gotta be like, demor- like, like demoralizing, like no cap, like yeah. yeah. <laughs> You got a team working on your whole marketing behind it. Like, and then yo, Drake just decides to drop one night. Yeah, I had to have a conversation with Drake. And you're like, wow. You did? That's so I would have to have a conversation oh, with Drake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you did. Like, like, like bro, the, the, the thing about that, too, is like people people don't realize like how fucking legendary that shit is. Like niggas don't just switch back and forth and could just do shit like that. That's like a boxer changing weight classes. Yeah. Just on some regular shit, bro. Changing sports, really. Like... <laughs> I mean, just went to go do a, do a whole different thing, and it's like it killed it. I I always enjoyed that about Drake yeah. is that he has his like phases where he's like, I right, boom, I'm from London this month. <laughs> no, I think I really think like next I, month I I'm think, hanging with Chet Hanks. I think it's a Canadian thing, like Chris was saying. Yeah. Like every Canadian artist, like they just like, go through their phases. Bro. Like Tory's like, like Tory Spanish one week. He be yeah. bugging out. <laughs> Make it the next bro week, went like, back in time to yeah. the '80s and dropped the whole ate, like, '80s album. Yeah. Like Tory's range is crazy. I think, I think nah, that is the cool. weekend party next door. Yeah, they got it, bro. Yeah, they, they got that Canadian they had, they, juice. They had Justin Bieber on. Justin uh, Bieber. Who on, knew? On Toast Remix. Yeah, who Speaking knew? So, so so let's just He be, was on what's the name too? Um so this was it Peru? Yeah. Like the African vibe. Uh, the, this Justin Bieber hop, this, this, Justin Bieber hop down. Does Canada it. have music on lock right now? Do they? Yeah, 100 percent Give it to him. Yeah, because Atlanta, they they dismembered it in Atlanta this year. <laughs> what happened yeah. to me? Is is that a joke? No. no, they really broke up. Yes. Why? Wait, who? Huh? The that 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 hotel lobby song. It's unconfused. It doesn't say Migos. But that's just like a you know they're not really broken up though. They just just dropped something. They gonna. Go. I mean, if that's what you want to tell you, Wait, they what? broke up. What happened? Who broke up. No one has said anything about it. It's just they them niggas unfollowed each other. Uh, they they had a QC party. Offset didn't go. The other two went. Like I feel like nowadays I don't know what's like actual beef versus marketing. Yeah. Like I don't know. Like this could be a marketing stunt to like come back. And I hope so. And get the name back buzzing. I'm a big Migos fan. You know this can't. <laughs> Me too. I remember I watched the TV show. 
Uh, it was a fucking cartoon, and they had like this boy group, right? This boy band. And it was four of them, and like one of them was like, "I quit. I'm leaving." And he was the best one. And they're like, "All right, we're doing a sweepstakes to find our our, our new <laughs> member, right?" So they fucking toured, did the sweepstakes thing where they were like running little mini concerts and having people trying out, selling merch, and doing all this shit. They're like, "Yeah, we need our third boy so we can finish recording our last our last couple songs for this new project, and they'll be on that album." And like at the last. The last showing, they're like, oh, we picked our boy. They like parachuted in. <laughs> the kid that left. <laughs> I'm like, they just fucking ran it up on these niggas. Yeah. They got a mini tour, then they're going to drop an album and then tour that shit. This is a show. And everyone's going to be like, oh, they're back together. It's marketing. But, yeah, marketing but this was crazy. a show? Yeah. <laughs> boy parachuted in. Yeah, that shit was funny, bro. Nah, Yo, this kid shows me wild. That sounds yeah. funny. I'm like, bro, that it could be that. Because even like Kendrick talked about that shit on his album. Well, he talked spoke about it on two songs, but who do you like, think would have the most? Who do you think would have the best solo career? Solo career out of Offset. three of them, right now, Offset. And at this point, at Be- this point, no, because of his girl, Offset. No, not because of his girl. Because of skill, yes, really. Quavo got more I'm a, range. I'm gonna take Quavo off got him, more man. range. Remember, they they released solo projects. They released three solo projects. Quavo had the best one. Quavo did the no, worst. take off, take off, take off. I like take off. No. I like Quavo's take off. Quavo's did the worst. Mm-hmm. Uh. Quavo, what was it, Huncho, or whatever? That shit did the worst. Yeah. Then the last rocket was the second, and then Father of Four, which was Offset, his sold the most. But that's because of. I think Offset also, also does put himself in like he's in, he's in a different. Um, uh-huh. Offset could just he could rap. He's man. got like the Travis Scott bag right now. Yeah, yeah like they both rap. got the same thing. Like they're like a power couple. Yeah. Like, works with the female audience. They, they not, he's, a, he's, he's in different followers. rooms. Like he goes yeah. solo. He's he's in different rooms solo. Yeah, he is. Two are and that means a lot in the, in the industry yeah. and. Like he like Quavo, Quavo Offset is the shit. most likely to end up in a movie out of the three of them. Hundred percent. Yeah, he, Offset he, is. He was in an episode of NCIS already. But I think Takeoff would have the best rapper. Like, no, no, no. it depends on what you're measuring. I about. think so. You're measuring about numbers. I just want to know why. It, I, you know, Offset. I did. This is why. This is this is why. I I think Offset would have the best career. One, when the Migos first came out, Offset was locked up. So it was that whole. Remember when G Unit first came out and they were like, oh, there's a member not here, Tony Yeo. Yeah. And he got out of jail and Tony Yeo was fucking trash. Gotcha. Right? <laughs> Offset got out of jail and everybody loved Offset, right? Yeah. So there was almost that like weight factor. Like we yeah. had Quavo and Takeoff for, for two, two years. There's like a mystique. Yeah, on, before on. we got Offset, yeah. right? So now he's like a, a original member, but a newer member, yeah. right? So now he's here and he's doing all this stuff. So now, now he did link up with one, a powerful girl, right? And on top of that, like the music he makes is just like all their songs that are like big, big, so like the bad and bougie and shit like that. Like, th- like every time all- Offset leads the pack on a song, like the song goes off, like off, like Quavo earlier with the hooks and shit. Yeah. And then Quavo, Quavo became it. He kind of became like their like, uh, it's like the pretty boy. pinch hitter type shit. He's like the pretty boy. Cool. The cool one. Yeah. I felt like, you know, he was like the most marketable. Take like, off. His face you're not, was, you're not looking to take off cool. to really make the whole song, but nah. he's going to have a, a crate. Like, there's a couple songs where he has the best verse on the song, but that's all he had to do was have the best verse. The yeah. other two have more responsibility. You know, this is I just like him. I think take off. This is, this is, uh, this is sad. You know, you well, think you'd be able to stick it through. Fan. I'm just saying in general, like, you know what I'm saying? You start out as partners in something. All good things come to an end. Make yeah, it through. They gotta. That's nah. not true. Make it through. <laughs> no, nah, they'll reunite. <laughs> that's, 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 not that's not true. Not all good things in come the industry, to an end. Not like, not life, but like, especially the industry. I mean, look at these Rolling, the Rolling Stones still hard, moving. Uh, you know? But they broke off at times. I think yeah. They came back. Yeah, you could come back. The Migos will too. The Migos will too, Wanda. Think they will. They, yeah. the, uh, new right. Right. But you could just got to go on your own to feel like you could have done it on your own. It's just, it's, at least you feel like maybe this person's not pulling their weight. Like, like your, your yeah, greatness that's is... That's the thing. Yeah, you're like, yeah. am I great because I'm great? Is question. Or am I great because I'm winning? In these last few years, B2K, New Edition. B2K. NSYNC, and I think Backstreet Boys has all had concerts. And yeah. all of those groups broke up. It's, it's, right. it's, it's just a thing of the, like. I just want to know. It depends what they broke up for, though. And no one knows. Because they family. So for them to break up, I think everybody like, is the they're same. They're going to catch like, us when we're all like 60 years old yeah, and do a tour. You know what I'm saying? And we're all going to be like, yo, the Migos are, are fucking linking back up. We got to go see that shit. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah that's going to be tough. We're not. <laughs> yeah. I think everyone. Hopefully, has, like when we're like in our 40s. 40s. Yeah, probably. They'll like be like 50. Not bad yeah. and bush. <laughs> but e- even, even though but they, they've 
handle this shit to where it's like it's reconcilable. Bro, I'm telling I'm gonna be 40 so years like, old. Like marketing. That was a word, right? I'm gonna be I'm gonna be 40 so. years old and take off gonna play too much now. jewelry. And I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. No, nah, but like nothing, nothing messy has happened to where it's like all right, I I yeah. can't fuck with this person again. Yeah. So they could just be beefing right now. It's like LeBron and, and it's like LeBron and Kyrie. Yeah. Like they broke up and then like now they're trying Lakers. to try make a comeback together. It's not it's not like sometimes things gotta go to part where everything to come back together. That's why I think it is. Sometimes yeah. like your greatness is questioned when you're tied to a group, right? Yeah, exactly. It's like we're all gonna say like who's it, how good was offset actually because he had Domingo. So it's yeah. like Imagine they would have stayed together forever, them two. Oh. Kyrie and LeBron. If, like Kyrie cut. I, yeah. I mean LeBron cut if he Who left LeBron. first? Kyrie. Kyrie. He asked for a trade. Yeah. And then LeBron didn't resign. Yeah, I think he stayed another year and then he never signed. Because mm. he, he went back without Kyrie, didn't he? Oh, it was interesting. Kyrie had a podcast. Yeah, was, yeah, nobody wants to live in Cleveland. Okay. <laughs> That's what it is. No one wants to live there. Nah, it was interesting. <laughs> like, I want to go to Boston. Kyrie had a podcast. I think it was, um, yeah, was it I Am Athlete? I think he was on. Mm-hmm. He was talking about it. He was like, they were just like, uh, like, there was organizational like changes that were coming down the pipeline that he just didn't want to sign up for. Mm. Like, Kyrie? Yeah. yeah. Like it was like he knew there was things that were coming down the pipeline, like changes that he didn't want to sign up for. So he was like, I'm just gonna bounce. Not here. Yeah. yeah. See, we need to normalize that. I, what? Like how we always say like players and our employees or whatever are the problem. If someone doesn't like the organizational changes you have coming right. down the line, yeah. I'm right yeah. to say I'm out. You can live for any reason. Like, yo, you could be you're 23 years old. I don't like living in Cleveland no more. I want to go live in the city. Like, yeah, yeah. it's People okay to like, go oh, live your life. Yeah, you're yeah, 23 yeah. years old. I want to have he's fun. A, yeah, he's a problem he's, athlete. I'd understand that. Benny athlete said that. Yeah. Like, yeah, who fuck wants to live in Cleveland? 20, 18 18 years old, you get drafted. Listen, to listen, Utah? Cle- Cleveland. Like, I'm a millionaire. Cleveland is a wonderful place. Yeah, no, I could have came out here with 50 dollars. Listen. Yes. Like it's fine. You want to you want to go live in this LA. You want to break bread marketing. with like the like, the. Well, LeBron like, went to my. I love our Cleveland fans. We love our fans in Cleveland. There's nothing wrong with it, but like go yeah, experience man. more. Yeah, you can come yeah. back. <laughs> what do you? Yeah, you're not gonna have a long. It's like fun, saying like, maybe. yo, Chris, you're gonna you're gonna live in New Jersey your whole life. Never we just, leave. We just like, lost the yeah. entire Cleveland market. Cleveland, we love you guys. You guys probably don't even want to be. Here. <laughs> hey, that's <laughs> it. We are never gonna do a show in Cleveland. Yeah, Cleveland We're trying to clean it up. Come we on. love you guys. Those, yeah, those people aren't on Spotify. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Cleveland want to leave Cleveland too? No, I'm kidding. We just started ragging on Cleveland, but, nah, but I wouldn't live there. Why should we get that one comment from somebody from Cleveland? Fucking ridiculous! Really Don't you ever come to my it's city? Really city? <laughs> nah, and like thing like he's from like he's from like the tri-state New York area. So like it's probably a lot different, like a totally different lifestyle yeah, in yeah. Cleveland compared to you know New York, New Jersey. I mean, he brought Cleveland a championship, so. You say thank you, mind your business. So. <laughs> I don't blame him, though. He hit, a, he hit yeah, the game exactly. time shot that's with it. Clay face, hand right in his face like this, but fading that, backwards. That's how, that's how sports fans are, man. I, that's why I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I'm a fan of players. That's my thing. What time we at? We're at, oh, shit. I don't know. We're at 118. 118? Yeah. I mean, we, we can rap. No. You, unless you we really. We will not rap. Y'all will not do this. <laughs> I'm not letting y'all do this. This thing will be the last thing. What do you mean this will be the what? last thing? We're going to have a conversation. We're going to have a conversation. We could just leave the beginning part because he didn't have a mic. So he could just leave all that. Hell no. That beginning part was funny. Yeah, was funny. All right. That's how it sounds, bro. It's going to be fun. No, that'll bro. be fun. Well, it's man. like four episodes ago, Sean was here and he was talking to Yeah, it didn't it sound great. You're, you're just being a stickler right no, now. No, I'm not being a stickler. See what they do to me? They call me a stickler. Yo, when you drop this, it's like the point where you got to drop like the disclaimer, like part, like <laughs> audience, uh, viewership. <laughs> yeah, it was only like the first 15 minutes. Yeah. It'll be fine. All right. I don't, okay. You got it. You got it. Oh my God. These, these, you know, yeah. and, and it's, this is society's fault why we're so scared to have Chris, these conversations. It's, it's, this has nothing to do with having this conversation on mic. I didn't have this conversation <laughs> off mic. I just don't just care. Con- okay, okay, but it's, I think it's an important conversation. I think it's not even important. I think it's interesting. If you so, all so. right, okay. That's what I said. Yeah. So you the leave. Supreme Court just said that a, abortion is no longer a right. Um, no different opinions about it, but I started doing research on it. So I listened to a lot of debates, pro-choice, pro-life debates. I started listening to a lot of things, and a couple questions caught my attention and I started thinking about it and I want to also share with you guys. So I told you guys off camera already, but 
the first question was that that I heard in one of the debates that made me really think that I never thought about before was when does a human life begin? Mm. And they laid out this spectrum, like there's different, you know, all the way on the one extreme end is life begins at um, conception. And the other extreme end is life begins once you're born, like when you come out into the earth, like now you're a human being. Yeah. So those are the two ends. And there was a whole bunch of opinions and in between that, you know, there's six weeks, there's 24 weeks, there's, you know, different things like that. So really, really got me thinking. So I wanted to hear you guys' opinion on that. Me personally? Uh, when I've, I've never thought about that question until you asked me, honestly. Mm-hmm. And I guess I would think life would be... Mm-hmm. I'm not nah, because all right, cool. I'm I'm gonna try to break it down because I'm I'm running through these thoughts in live time right here. Okay. Right. Um don't you dare fuck you, you said <laughs> <laughs> like all right, cool. So when you, you when something's care, developing, buddy. right? Be careful. When something's developing, I would say life <laughs> would start when it has a heartbeat in my head. Okay. Like when it's like it's So the in, first heartbeat? Yeah. Okay. I know yeah. it. Because um <laughs> fucking misogynist. <laughs> hey, Jason, nah, I'm, I'm kidding. Nah, I'm but kidding. um uh what isn't there um a period before, right? Where it's like a, you get to a miscarriage. Mm-hmm. Like if you have it before that period is not technically a miscarriage. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's like called. I know what you're else. talking about. You know what I'm talking about? It's yeah. I think it's. I know Islam's like that. Or something so like that. so if it's you like can a certain if, number of weeks, and therefore it's like meant to like kind of justify because back in the day miscarriages were a lot more common. I want to say or something yeah. like that. It was like kind of like a. Oh, yeah. well, it wasn't like a real life yet, so it's not really Mate, like you yeah. lost your baby. It just was like a bunch of cells. I don't know. I don't, don't want to say time, it in like take. Time that sounds crazy, but yeah, whenever whenever. If you can have, I guess you could say like a miscarriage and it'd be like, you have to get like an actual operation to, you know. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Oof. But um, I would say that. Okay. Because there's certain women that like, not certain women, but I know there's, a, there's cases where it's very small mm-hmm. and like you can just like, you know, pass it through like, you know, bleeding and stuff like that. I know people don't usually like announce that they're pregnant. In before like three months yeah because those first three months are kind of like you know it could be a false thing oh yeah that's yeah like three months yeah i want to say it's like three months three months is like the safe period where it's like okay we're announcing we're pregnant yeah i'm gonna say now um, we're putting it out there you know i don't know the exact time i know you gotta wait till like 18 to 20 weeks to do like an ultrasound and stuff right like it's like Um, i I think there's a there's whenever you can get an ultrasound that's when you was there yeah and like that's when like you can like finally like reveal like the sex of the baby because when it starts developing like, you can't tell the sex before then, mm-hmm. right? Gotcha. So uh, I'm going with that. Like it doesn't have yeah. a, every, let's use the right terminology here. But uh, <laughs> that, <laughs> no, 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 no. We sound like we're, we're, we sound like no. we're in fucking job right, so, interviews, right? Uh, yeah. Why are you putting a gender on that baby, man? Well, you you don't know what it identifies. That's as. that's what I was gonna say. I'm not <laughs> so let me say this correctly, right? So um, you can't determine the gender. Uh, by uh doctor standard yeah. at the time then i think you are okay you're good I so, by doctor so, um, standard so also. Are you, how many weeks is that we punch that up right now for you no, i'm saying <laughs> I, 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 are months are, how many months are you saying i don't know I don't, but I don't you're know. saying whenever the point is that but you have you to get an ultrasound. ultrasound like okay. i know you can't get an ultrasound and like there, there's a there's a certain time i think it's like second try trimester something like that where you can get an ultrasound okay so jace what what's my time yeah that is considered a life yeah uh, I don't know. Jace told me two, two years old off camera. That's <laughs> I guess the ultrasound is uh that's, yeah that's when you uh, can still abandon them as a father and not feel bad about it. Eight, eighteen you know? to twenty weeks is when a woman can get an ultrasound. Okay, eighteen to twenty. 18 to 20 weeks. Yeah. You said the same thing, right? I think I know a loophole. Or, I don't remember what I said <laughs> around the rule though. <laughs> Whatever I said, I, I, I stick to it. Like, <laughs> Did it work? Yo, Jace, when you can rewind it back. <laughs> When this moment comes up, you said heartbeat. You said heartbeat. I think okay. Heartbeat is six to five weeks. Sure. Yeah. Well, 
conversation off camera. Like, when do you know when you're six to five weeks? That's what I'm like, saying. Yeah. They they count like you as four weeks, like as soon as you miss a period. Yeah. You don't know when in that month you got uh yeah you actually you got pregnant. Like you could be one week pregnant, or you could be four weeks or five weeks. Like yeah. you know, I don't know. So I guess maybe I don't know. I guess you'd have to check a heartbeat and I don't know. Jace go. I don't know. <laughs> he just keeps saying I don't know because I really don't. I think. I think rather than get abortion, I think where it's illegal now, they should yeah. just go and get like another booster shot. I feel like that would probably do the, you know, <laughs> just get that vaccine booster shot. That'd probably do the trick. You don't feel like, <laughs> no, like you're on your fifth one. <laughs> Yo, cuz is crazy. <laughs> I should Yo, definitely be in the bloopers. Come on, bro. Jesus <laughs> fucking hilarious. I'm no, cut, I'm I'm cut that part out. Though, bro. <laughs> I, just, I just feel like even, even though they're, they're trying to, right, make it illegal, and you can't get them anymore. Mm-hmm. We talked about this before. Like, you're just gonna create a dark, Thanks. sketchy underbelly of yeah. doctors that's just willing to have some like underground clinic where you could still come get an abortion. Yeah, this is a crazy comparison. I mean, no disrespect by it, but like, it's gonna be like the BBL culture, right? Like, BBLs technically like aren't legal everywhere or like yeah. paid, but like you gonna have you got girls going to DR to get a BBL, like they're going. To, underground doctors and they're getting like now they're getting messed up procedures now yeah, people yeah, are dying yeah. because like people aren't you know like, i think we spoke about basement braces up in here yeah before. so like it's just gonna become that where it's like now you're putting people's lives out harm because people are yeah, still gonna just, find you just way. create like this is underground 100 percent oh. like marketplace for it all right this is um i'll say in that case yeah. just to be bl part yeah. not we're gonna separate I'm not talking about talking just BBL part. Yeah. Should BBLs so be illegal? In terms of in terms of if BBLs are illegal, yeah. right? We shouldn't we shouldn't make it legal. Let's just say this is just something in general. Do, should you make something legal just because some people are willing to go out their way and put themselves in hard way to get something? Yeah. You should. Why? Because you're saving someone, right? Like it comes down how to how many that. people are you saving by having illegal compared to how many people you're saving because they want to do it anyway? I mean, at this point, how many people are getting it done? I feel like... Just BBLs we're talking about. Yeah, just God BBLs. Yeah. Like, I feel like everyone... Not everyone. That's a wild statement to make. But I feel like... Because can't you just go to Miami or Florida? So it's cheaper there. Yeah. If, but it's, 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 it's a, a price. But in Miami, you're going to have a real doctor. Not all the times, though. Like, there's there's been stores like fake doctors in Miami. Yeah. Like, so it is legal, decisions. actually. It, I, I no, think it is legal. legal. Yeah. I think it's the price. My bad. I don't think oh, it's the price. It's oh, okay, I think okay. it's the price standpoint of it. But if not, you're willing to put legal, yourselves in no, harm no. way for a cheaper price, like what do you, we can't lower the price. What do we say? I mean, I think the question is they want to make it like uh, insurance and cover it somehow. Mm-hmm. I think that's okay. it. I All think right. that's the conversation. But back to the inception thing. Back to it. I'll try to get off track there, but. No, no. I got. <laughs> I tried to, tried to move the, the uh, conversation forward. So I thought it was a great movie. <laughs> was it? Oh, I'm sorry. What? What's the proper word? Conception. Bro, so I thought, <laughs> so I thought, so I was watching debates, bro. Another thing that occurred to me, right, is I sometimes I feel like I said earlier too, like people get their own personal beliefs and they mix that with what they believe. I guess, I don't know. Sometimes I, I, I guess when you vote for laws, it is your personal beliefs, but like, I feel like it, even if you do believe that abortions are wrong and that people shouldn't have them, I feel like. Just because you believe that doesn't mean that you can in, inflict that belief on other people because the act of an abortion only affects that person's life. Like if Asante decided to get an abortion with someone or if someone that he was with decided to get an abortion, the abortion that she had doesn't negatively impact my life. And because yeah. it doesn't negatively impact the lives of other people, <clears throat> Then it shouldn't shouldn't be deemed to be illegal. I yeah I, I I could agree with that because I always felt the same thing about like the people that would be like outside of fucking city hall petitioning and mm-hmm. you know picketing and stuff like that for like same sex marriages and stuff and it's like oh it's against my religion it's, it's attack on it has no effect it's on like it. unless someone is trying to put a gun to your head and force you into something that yeah. you don't want to do yeah it doesn't affect you. Yeah. So like the, people will try to make it seem like they care more because it's affecting us. Like, oh, I don't want this person to do that because they're going to go to hell. Yeah. But it's like you don't really yeah, give a fuck about that person. It's not altruistic. Yeah. yeah. It's not. It, that's that's not. So that's not the, the premise in which you want to to this to happen. You just mm-hmm. don't want it to happen. So what's the? It doesn't align with your beliefs. So 
but that being said, too, I got I got a, I got a loophole for abortions. What if you just said like the argument for getting abortions is like, um, oh, it's against my religion. What if you said abortions were part of your religion? A part of it? Yeah. Yeah, you get me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you're like, oh, yeah, I don't want people to get abortions because mm-hmm. that's against my religion. And that's and that's mm-hmm. bad. And and God would be unhappy. Mm-hmm. What if like. It's like, oh yeah, this should be a freedom of my, of my religion to practice this thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, I I guess you could you could do that, but then it would just have to be like your lit your religion would like come with like but a set of rights almost. And I think right? that's the and what I think but that's the difference. Like that's the freedom to practice my religion. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but it's not I feel like there's a big difference between like like what I personally believe and what needs to be legal for the, you know, an entire country. Yeah. You know, like if say, even say you're a doctor, I think this should be allowed too. then say, I don't know about doctors. I don't know. Cause what if you're a doctor and you're a Christian doctor and you believe that, but then you don't have to be an abortion doctor. Right. Not like every doctor could do that. It's not like yeah, a thing yeah, doctors yeah, yeah, just yeah. do. Right. Yeah. yeah. You have to be a Pacific doctor for that. Uh, uh, maybe an OBGYN. Yeah. Like, What's that? What's an OBGYN? A gynecologist. So, gynecologist. so Ogan, I don't know. Who does these? What doctor? But if I would, I would, I would assume a, a mm-hmm. doctor that. So if you're, is it are those doctors in a situation where they would, if someone came and asked for one, they would have to do it if they didn't believe in it? Would that ever be a situation? I don't know. I don't know what the rule. Are doctors allowed to refuse service to people? I don't know. No, because it's oh, well, what is it? It's the what's that. the thing they the oath they take? The uh, yeah. Hippocratic Hippocratic, Hippocratic oath. oath. Don't know how that works. Um, I think you can't deny, you can't deny anyone of like service, service. that needs it. Yeah. Right. So how but do you so how do you protect again, the rights like, of the doc? Mm, it's like help, know. you know. Like if someone was dying, you can't be like, oh, I'm not helping this person because they're this a murderer, or right? That, or whatever. Yeah. You can't. Be but like, like, it's like a person yeah. that needs an abor- an abortion. Yeah. It's not like they would be like, oh, I need this today. Yeah. We're, no, it's like an abortion. Yeah. So they would be like, no, like I'm not comfortable. You can so, schedule with like another then, one of. Our doctors, yeah, what if you just? But then, know, then here's the question I have too, right? Because then, based on what I said, right, I came to my conclusion that um, you shouldn't tell people what to do. It doesn't affect the lives of other, right? So does that mean you allow people to get abortions until they feel like if it's a baby's eight months? Because if based on what I said, that's would be the next I question mean, to ask someone. I think if it was, they were trying to determine the factor of like the span in which you can get it. Which was a conversation before uh-huh. that would be a different thing. It's so there should be a law that says not after this time period. Yeah, but it's not even that. It's just like they're just saying like you can't get it at all. No, I'm saying in general, just... not just talking. I don't know because I never really understood the law. I never thought about abortion laws, and now I recently thought about it. Now I'm trying to figure out how I feel about it. But I f- what I think about it. I, I feel, feel like it. because the way it's I boom like a guy a guy obviously can't have sex and then. Like he's having a child himself, right? Yeah. There's no two way street for this, right? Mm-hmm. And this is when, like, we were talking about before, you we were saying, like, you no, know, like, why certain women feel the way they do mm-hmm. is because it almost exclusively, af- not almost exclusively, it exclusively affects women, right? Mm-hmm. This doesn't affect men. Hey, well, people with wombs, it affects, <laughs> right? Wombins. But at the same, same time, not it's all like, women have wombs. It's not like someone said, oh, there's no more getting your tubes tied. Right, mm-hmm. but but guys can get vasectomies or guys. You feel me? It's not like an attack on both sides. It's just one preventative method that only affects so the female population. So, hmm. so for people who, and when we talked about like certain extreme cases and stuff like that, but there's also people who just like, all right, this is, this isn't the right time for me, and then people are trying to tell them, right? Now, no, you no longer have that choice. You have to keep the baby. And mm-hmm. if you don't want the baby, give the baby up. Now you're making decisions for people, you mm-hmm. know, rather than you, there's people who might wait, mm-hmm. have the baby, might not be for them, might give the baby up or might let, you know, a close family member, whatever relative raise the baby as their own. And there's certain people who are just like, I can't like, this is going to, this is right now. It's not mm-hmm. aligning with the path that I'm on in my life right now. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, they get it taken care of. So it's, I think, I think something with abortion. <clears throat> I, are, I guess the whole like thing around it. I feel like there is no right or wrong answer. Like, I don't think one decision is right or wrong. 
And I think that's what makes it so tough because then it really just comes down to your opinion. Mm. And it's like, I think something like that, like your opinion, it's what does most people, what does society want? And if you look at the numbers, society wants abortions. You know, majority of, I looked at the, the voters, like 68% of American citizens, I think, believe in abortion. I think it was something like, yeah, it was like 67, like 33% did it. And it's like, if 33% of the population doesn't want something, and 67% of the population wants it. But I think, like uh, I was saying, certain states are going to have... I, I was Something I was asking myself is, do the states that don't want it, like where... Because we're a republic, so does the res- representative population of women in those states not want abortion? I think that's a good question that I haven't seen the answer to, but I would be right. curious about. Because if the, the, the if in those states that representative group of women don't want it, then... yeah. I guess you know that then they don't want it, yeah. so we can't be mad at them. Yeah, it's just yeah. But they're I, I haven't seen anyone answer that question. I think sometimes it gets like lost in translation. Like it seems like as if it's it's like abolished. Uh huh. Like oh, abortions are abolished, but it's just like no, it's not legal at the federal level. So therefore, it's no longer a federal Protected. right. Yeah. And a state can deem the whether it's illegal. I don't know. I feel like right now, it just seems. Yeah. I I don't know. I I don't really give a shit. It just seems like the the uh like what you're hearing from it. If you just looked on social media, be like, God damn, this shit this shit's like completely illegal. It's something to think about. But it's like yeah, like you know, that's where like doesn't really something like abortion. Like I was very, I was very ignorant of, but extremely ignorant. I'm still ignorant. But I just took the time to really research, and the more I researched, the more questions I started asking myself yeah. about things I never thought of to think about before, like a whole bunch of things. But I, I think I came to the conclusion that I'm going to stand by that. Uh, I don't think it's right to tell people yeah, what to do. And I've I've watched debates. I've heard like uh, <laughs> pro-life people debate that point that I just made. And they brought up really good examples of why, well, you can't use that logic because yada, 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 yada. But I, still at this point, I'm like, I don't think, maybe I'm not thinking of it enough, that a, someone someone getting an abortion affects the lives of everyone else around them. So in that case, since it's not negatively impacting other people's life, only impacts the two people involved in that baby's life. That's their decision. Yeah. Um, let them decide and let them be have the freedom to decide. Yeah. In yeah. my opinion. But yeah, definitely let everybody make their own personal decisions and what works best for them. If it was a situation where it wasn't ethics, right? Like mm-hmm. if it if it was I uh we noticed last year, whatever, that incline 40, 50%, mm-hmm. whatever, of women that got abortions, like after they had effects with this or like they were dying or mm-hmm. something. Like, if it was something that had to do with health or, yeah. you know, something like that, that would, it would make it easier mm-hmm. to like stomach the conversation. But yeah. right now it's just strictly based on like ethics and people's thoughts and yeah. beliefs. So that's like, and even to me, is like the, the weirdest part about it. And even if something like that happened, where it's like 40%, I say, God forbid. 40% of women died after getting an abortion. Say, God forbid, that was the fact. Yeah. Would it still be right to have a law that stopped women from getting it? Because the women who got it know that. They yeah. know that there's a 40% chance they'll die. So should they still have but, the freedom but to I, do it? I think there are certain proce- procedures just in general that have been like outlawed because it's just too dangerous to do. Now, if you want to go try to seek somebody that still does that procedure, that's a different story. But I think with medical advancements, they would probably try to figure out something mm-hmm. that would, you know, can be put in place of that to that that percentage would go down, which would in most parts is like, all right, maybe if you have a headache now, we don't need to fucking drill a hole to relieve pressure on the side of your head. We, can, get, we can give you an Advil, you know, but it's not like yeah. because you have a headache, they're like, no, you need to. We're not drilling the hole and you need to suffer the headache. Like, no, we still have a medication that can do it yeah. or we still have something else that can relieve that. So, yeah, I think. That's definitely an interesting conversation. I would love to revisit this conversation mm-hmm. with women present. Yeah. Um, Why? What do we need them for? <laughs> Jace is, this is know. this is all what, Jace off camera. What today, could okay? they have to contribute to this topic? I don't really <laughs> this understand. This is all Jace today off camera. I feel right? like this is the most ideal way to have this conversation. Yeah. Is a bunch of men sitting in a room discussing women's bodies. Do you guys not agree with me? No, I no. completely do. All right, no. Jace, right. That's what this that, is how it's meant to be. And that's, that's how we got here, right? That is how we got here. Is what's going on. Guys, we're saying this in jest for the people that are listening. It's satire, people. Relax. It's satire. This is this is okay. awful times. All right. 
And I do feel like everybody should be able to be able to make choices and be able to live their lives in the yeah. manner in which they want to live it. I think people should be allowed. Like I said, people should have to make their own decisions with the preface that it doesn't impact other people's lives. And yeah. it have I haven't been shown in a way that this negatively impacts other people's life. But the only argument is, and this is where I think the first question of when do you think conception happens is for the people who think conception happens at X state or X time, believe that now you are impacting someone else's life because this, but then that's your opinion. Yeah. Again, at the end of the day, where you think and in, in, in life happens on a spectrum, that's your opinion. Unless all doctors want to come out and say a life begins stamped us, all, all doctors around the world agree. This is when life happens. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think, They've done that. I'm not sure. Is there is there a is there a doctor who does that stuff? When I don't know. Mm-hmm. But if there is a day, I don't know of it. If someone please in the comments, so tell me. We just yeah. need like artificial wombs, and then you could just like. I think someone so said that, that. I think that's how they came an artificial. That's I think that's how they came up with the. It sounds like I'm being stupid, but I'm being no, like legit. I, like I, I think like that's that how they the came best. up with the date. That's actually. how you satisfy everyone. I think that's how they came up with the date that. That's that was one way of thinking that if a womb can survive, if there's a fifty percent chance that a womb could survive outside a woman's body, then it's considered a life. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, so yeah. once the fifty percent chance that if you take the womb out the mother, that they would still once survive, it's no longer now it's a human because it's no now it's a oh, yeah okay. exactly. Right. No, that makes sense. I think that was at twenty four weeks. Twenty four. Oh, I yeah. think so. That's not a lot. Yeah, I just saw I, I just saw a post that like. This lady's baby was born at like four months. Some crazy shit. She su- got into an accident. And they had to like take the baby. Oh my out. God. He and survived? Yeah. Like healthy? She, she's, he's like a healthy four year old. God now. bless him. Yeah. That was really cool. So that's four times five. Oh my God. Like, yeah. Like 20 something weeks he was around 20, yeah. plus or minus. Yeah. Wow. So 24 weeks? After 24 weeks? Is that, is that, I don't know. But that's, I know some places have that rule, but. Yeah, I think that's where it lasts. I think that's where the decision should be made on. Not so much should we allow people to do this, you know, let people do what they want. The decision should be made on when do we think. But then some, like some places who don't allow it at all, think life happens at inception. Yeah, but once it, once again, people, inception. everybody's entitled to their, their own opinion. conception. Conception. <laughs> and he keeps saying obsession, right? Conception. Uh, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. You know, these yeah. are all just opinions. We're, we're males. Yeah speaking ignorantly on you know a topic or whatever we're trying to do our best so definitely bear with us Um, because i don't think it's right to run away from conversations i know a lot of time um we live in a society now where you get demonized for talking about things but i feel like the only way you educate yourself because there's gonna be someone who listens to this hear our genuine the genuineness in our voices and they might reach out to us and be like hey guys this is your pod you guys didn't well hopefully you guys didn't seem like jerks you know, you said this, but you're wrong because of this, this, and this. Here's some articles. Here's some facts. Here's some. You know, yeah. That'd be that'd be a blessing. You know, instead yeah. of criticizing us and going on Twitter like with your strong fingers. Oh yeah, Jason's getting clipped. Yeah, <laughs> Jason's getting sure. clipped for sure. You know what I mean? That doesn't progress for society sure. forward, man. That just divides us more, and it's not helpful. Yeah. So, just yeah. a disclaimer: I don't really care. I I don't do what you want. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. I don't have any opinion here. With the amount of caffeine I consume, I'm probably infertile, so it doesn't affect me at <laughs> Yo. all. These <laughs> guys go, this guy's going crazy. Dude, you want, ladies? This has been another episode of Demi God Chronicles. Yeah. Uh, featuring Mountain Dew Jace over there. We're calling him, this is Mountain Dew Jace? Mountain Dew Jace. I wish you could show the shirt on camera. I got the shades on, bro. What, well, Works. how come these weren't Different marketed fact. to me? I did not see that these were options. It was, it was on... It, I'll, I'll tell you when we. When it's, and it's crazy, you know what I'm saying? How they do me? I haven't yo, got, uh, I haven't gotten. You, a, might be, you might be speaking too soon, but oh, oh, he, he oh, is speaking oh, too soon. Oh, yeah, right. That's <laughs> why I said we're gonna. I'm not discussing yeah. natural admiration. Oh, 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 but, for my uh, outburst, please, please excuse me. Thank, thank you for tuning in, guys. We appreciate you. Whether you, you know, stop listening after 15 seconds, whether you make it to this point, we appreciate you for giving us a chance. Um, we back, man. You know, we back in the building. Uh, we took a small little break. Uh, people got some. You know, we had some things to handle and all that. Mm-hmm. But we here. We went. We went on a spiritual retreat. 
He's That's where we've been going. We've been meditating and thinking about potting. Um, people, we are going to be bringing weekly content this summer. Uh, we are going to be doing some some fun stuff. <clears throat> some fun stuff. You know, you might see us in the streets. Fun thing. If you see us, say what up. Mm-hmm. You know, we coming we coming to get some of y'all opinions. You know, you're going to see some vlogs, some cool stuff that we're going to be doing. So it's going to be fun. I, I look forward to it. Um, and... Yeah, we're not, we won't always, you know, do the generic uh, sit down in front of a camera and we're definitely going to go and enter some other people's realms, sit with them like you've seen us do with uh, VMG and, uh, you know, things like that. And we got some other content coming out. We sat down with some other creatives and just fun stuff. So we'll be able to float around and, you know, rub elbows with with, with some good people in this area. And then we can give you guys Mm -hmm. some perspective on, you know, the things we get to see and the things that we get to uh experience living in this area so that'll be fun it'll be very cool um you guys wanna gracias para escuchando y we appreciate you guys and we hope to hear you back again yeah and um jay squay is on and out this has been my alter ego yeah, that's what I wasn't Jason. He's had the there. shades on the entire episode. It's cool been, as hell. Yeah, I Jay wish Squire. I could see what I see. Not uh, yeah, but if it, you can see how cool Jason yeah. looks right now, I wish you guys really it's could see. Cool, yeah. It is definitely I'll, summer. I'll, I'll take a picture. It is definitely it. summertime. But uh, what, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, you guys, you guys have been doing a, a great job on the views, and you know, like all that good stuff. So keep doing that. Uh, we appreciate you guys. And if you, you don't know, send it, we got all your addresses for every play. Stuff. And um, yeah, we're gonna start getting in some some topics that we that you guys want to hear about and stuff like that. So you know, we got enough people now where it can start being a community effort. You guys, tell yeah. us what you want to see too. Santi said he wants to see how fast we can get canceled. So we're just gonna start pulling out controversial topics out of a hat, and the most of the worst one we pull out, we're just gonna talk about and just see what we could do to get ourselves off the grid. You know, so <laughs> I ain't say none of that. But yeah. today, you? The, today the one we pulled out was. Are, are Russians actually the good guys? <laughs> <laughs> this has been another Yo, episode. Clip that and make we that the here. intro Bam. of the of the video. <laughs>